After hours of walking, we reached a point he said was deep enough into the Allies' abode. Don Juan told me in a commanding tone to take off in the direction that was best for me and to be sure I could remember the spot where we were at the moment so I could return there whenever I was through. He said in a reassuring tone that he would be waiting for me if it took forever. I asked apprehensively if he believed that the affair of getting a spirit catcher was going to take a long time. Who knows, he said, smiling mysteriously. I walked away toward the southeast, turning around a couple times to look at Don Juan. He was walking very slowly in the opposite direction. I climbed to the top of a large hill and looked at Don Juan once again. He was a good 200 yards away. He did not turn to look at me. I ran down the hill into a small bowl-like depression between the hills, and I suddenly found myself alone. I sat down for a moment and began to wonder what I was doing there. I felt ludicrous looking for a spirit catcher. I ran back up to the top of the hill to have a better view of Don Juan, but I could not see him anywhere. I ran downhill in the direction I had last seen him. I wanted to call off the whole affair and go home. I felt quite stupid and tired. Don Juan! I yelled over and over. He was nowhere in sight. I ran again to the top of another steep hill. I could not see him from there either. I ran quite a ways looking for him, but he had disappeared. I retraced my steps and went back to the original place where he had left me. I had the absurd certainty I was going to find him sitting there laughing at my inconsistencies. What in the hell have I gotten into? I said loudly. I really did not know how to go back to my car. Don Juan had changed directions various times, and the general orientation of the four cardinal points was not enough. I knew then there was no way to stop whatever I was doing there. I was afraid of getting lost in the mountains. I sat down, and for the first time in my life, I had a strange feeling there was never really a way to revert back to an original point of departure. Don Juan had said I always insisted on starting at a point I called the beginning, when in effect the beginning did not exist. And there, in the middle of those mountains, I felt I understood what he meant. It was as if the point of departure had always been myself. It was as if Don Juan had never really been there, and when I looked for him, he became what he really was, a fleeting image that vanished over a hill.